late breaking news on but the if we all do our part and simply stay home we have a shot hello and welcome to mount zion tv i'm dr leatrice brooks licensed psychologist and i want to share with you today some mental health tips as we continue with our stay at home order and navigating the coronavirus. For us at Mount Zion, our focus scripture during the coronavirus has been Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 where it talks about there is a season for everything in our lives. And when I think about this idea of seasons, it reminds me of a concept that I talk about in therapy sometimes. And it's the idea of using transitions well. When we think about seasons, things change. So there's a change between summer and fall and winter and spring. And whenever the season changes, we naturally expect that something is going to be different. Something is going to be different about the weather. Something is going to be different about sometimes our mood. Something is going to be different about the way that we navigate the world, the way the clothes that we decide to put on. Things change when the seasons change and we make the necessary adjustments. And be, as the coronavirus has now hit upon us and it's a season, we still have the responsibility to make the necessary adjustments. So while we are dealing with it, I encourage you to use the transition well. And what I mean by that is, Every transition does not have to be a negative experience. There are lots of transitions that we naturally experience in life. One of the things that's happening right now is a lot of students are graduating from high school and they're graduating from college. Those are very natural life transitions. And whenever someone makes a natural life transition, we actually give them permission to change. We give them permission for things to be different in their lives. And the same thing goes with seasons. The same thing goes with the coronavirus. We can give ourselves permission to use the transition well. We can give ourselves permission to make the necessary changes so that we can be prepared for the next season because we have to get out of this season what we need in order to be prosperous, in order to have the joy, in order to have the peace, in order to have the abundance and experience all that God has for us in the next season. So in the midst of coronavirus, what does it actually look like to use the transition well? So what it looks like is we're taking this opportunity to learn about ourselves. We're taking this opportunity to deepen and strengthen our relationship with God, to deepen and strengthen our relationships with others, to deepen and strengthen our commitment to our responsibility as believers. Use the transition well. It would be a sad story if we came out of the coronavirus season the exact same people that we were before. We have to let go. If we don't let go, if we don't move on, if we don't make the necessary change, there will be a consequence. There's always a cost to not changing when the season changes. The, the weather is changing right now, things are starting to warm up. We could decide that we still wanna wear our boots and hats and scarves and gloves, but there's a cost to that. We're gonna be extra hot because it's warming up outside. And so we have to make the decision, we have to make the commitment to roll with the change. So use this transition well, make a decision about who you want to be, what things in your life do you want to be different for you, and specifically better different. Let's not get out of the coronavirus season and be exactly the same and keep doing the same things as if this season did not have an impact on our lives. 
So what things can you change? What can you do differently? What can you get out of this season and be proud of that happened for you, that you did for somebody else? How did your life enrich as a result of this season? Make a commitment today to use this transition well. If you haven't already, please take the time to check out the Facebook Live interview with myself and Reverend Mo and Reverend Jackson. There are some mental health tips that I provided in that interview. I will also post with this video a pandemic plan, four steps for getting through so that you can be equipped to get through this productively, to get through this prosperously because we don't have to suffer. It doesn't have to be a struggle. Be sure to tune in to everything that Mount Zion has for you during this time, all of the resources, all of the services, plugging into fulfillment hour classes. This is a great opportunity for us to grow. This is a great opportunity for us to gain strength. This is a great opportunity for us to be empowered to do everything that God has created us to do. The coronavirus may stop you physically, and position you physically at home, but it does not have to stop your faith. It does not have to stop your relationship with God. It does not have to stop your production for the kingdom. Until next time, take care and we'll see you again.